Do you share Jeffrey Hinton's worries? Absolutely. Do you believe, as he thinks, because I'm quoting him, that it is not inconceivable that it could actually lead to the extinction of the human race? Not only is it not inconceivable, I think it is quite likely, unfortunately, and I'm not just the only one saying this. More and more people, such as Hinton, who is really the godfather of this field, as you've already said, the closest we have to an Einstein in the field of AI is now taking these risks extremely seriously and going to the public to actually speak about them. Okay, so this is very dystopian. I mean, you say, you know, not just conceivably, it, it could do. How, in layman's terms, what is the current danger and the nature of this technology that is so dangerous for us? Companies that are working on this te technology, you know, Google, OpenAI, and other ones, explicitly in their goals for what they state they are trying to do is to build godlike intelligence. They're not trying to build just an autocomplete system. This is explicitly their goal, explicitly stated in their founding documents. And means what, godlike? This means something that outstrips humans in every form of capability. It is better than humans at every type of reasoning task, every type of physical task, at, at some point, every type of skill-based task, more creative in every way. I believe that if we create a, a system of any kind that is just vastly more intelligent for, than the human race, I don't expect that to end well. So, what can be done now? So some of these people, I think Jeffrey Hinton may, may have been one of them, big AI and tech giants, names that we recognize, signed, I think a couple of months ago, a letter, more than a thousand of them, nearly 2,000 of them, to call for a pause. Do you remember that? Uh, yes. And what were they saying and what happened? So the uh, point of that letter was to call for a moratorium, at least for six months, I personally pushed for longer, um, on the development of larger and more powerful AI systems that have been built so far. So I think it's quite important to uh, explain quickly yeah. that the difference between an AI system and a software system, a traditional software system is you write code. So you write code, a programmer writes code, which solves a problem. You have some problem, you want it to do something, and you write the code to make it do that. AI is very different. AIs are not really written. They're more like grown. You have a sample of data of what you wanted to accomplish. You don't know how to solve the problem. You just have a description or like a samples of the problem. And then you use huge supercomputers to crunch these numbers to kind of like organically almost grow a program that solves these problems. And importantly, we have no idea how these programs work internally. They are complete black boxes. We don't understand at all how their internals work. This is an unsolved scientific problem. And we do not know how to control these things. 